Three people are going to prison for the rest of their lives for the shooting death of a family dollar security guard. And I'm still at Askalak as Calvin Munnerlin was shot in the back of the head on May 1st, 2020. According to the witnesses, it was over a face mask policy at the time. Ramon Ye Bishop, Larry Teague, and Shermel Teague were all found guilty in November of first degree premeditated murder and felony firearm. Mid Michigan House Courtney Bennett joined us. Courtney, you were in the courtroom today and you had a chance to talk with Munnerland's family. Dave and Stella, that's right. Our cameras were not actually allowed to record any video or audio today in court. I can tell you that the family of Kelvin Munnerlin have waited to hear the words life in prison without the possibility of parole for 991 days. It makes me feel better knowing that they're behind bars and they'll be there for life without a chance of parole. Latrina Sims was Kelvin Munnerlin's lifelong partner. They were married for 10 years. Sims, for the first time, getting a chance to have a few words with the defendants. The three people now heading to prison for the death of her late husband. I really had to compose myself and know that I was realized I was in the court because what I wanted to say, I really couldn't say. According to trial testimony, Munnerlin and Charmel T got into an argument at the Family Dollar Store in Flint. Munnerlin told Teague's daughter she had to wear a mask inside. The prosecutor says Teague spit on Munnerlin. Then sometime later, Teague came back to the store with her husband, Larry Teague, and her son, Romanie Bishop. According to the prosecutor's office, Bishop shot Munnerlin point blank in the back of the head. While addressing the court today, Romanie Bishop, who just turned 26, said he believed it was God's will, and he also apologized to the family. When you're so young, it has so much potential, like for you to just do something so reckless and ignorant to get your whole life taken away from you, it's crazy. And then to say that it was God's will, well, I guess it was God's will for you to go to prison for the rest of your life, too. Munnerland's youngest son says he was relieved to hear the sentencing, feeling justice is served for his dad. Anything I'm doing, I'm just dedicating it to my pops because I know he won't be doing it if he was here. So if he's not here, so I might as well make him even more proud. So. Uh, Calvin Munnerland's family showed up to court and they were relieved and rejoicing on this verdict. And they tell me that they've not only lost their family member, but they say that someone who was loved by the community has also been lost. Now, those accused of murdering Munnerlin and uh, destroying the family's lives, they say, are Larry Teague, Charmel Teague, and Ramonia Bishop, all found guilty of all charges, first degree premeditated murder and felony firearm. According to prosecutors, on May 1st, 2020, Munnerlin was working inside of the Family Dollar on East Fifth Avenue and Saginaw Street in Flint as a security guard when an argument ensued over the indoor mask policy. According to testimony, Charmel Teague later returned when her husband and son, Bishop, uh, went into the store confronting Munnerlin, and then they say Bishop proceeded to fire the gun, shooting him. Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton says the evidence was overwhelming, including surveillance footage from the store. Munnerlin's wife, Latrina Sims, says their family can now start to heal. I don't even know how to describe the feeling. I just know I'm ready to start this healing process and my kids can start their healing process and my baby can rest now. Uh, a, a gentleman, Duper, who was extraordinarily well known in the community and well loved, had his life taken away over a dispute over a mask. And I can understand how we can have a dispute over a mask, but it shouldn't result in cold blooded murder.